Against a backdrop of a burnt car and rising smoke, protesters in Nairobi renewed clashes with police on Wednesday. Some of the most intense clashes took place along the expressway linking the Kenyan capital to its international airport. The spark for the second round of protests in less than a week? Tax hikes. Again, you see like uh, young guys, they were crying that they promised, Mr. President, you promised them that you're going to help them, but you didn't. Officers on the scene said two demonstrators were shot dead. A police spokesperson did not immediately respond to a request for comment. Opposition leader Rilo Odinga slammed the police response and cancelled a rally in Nairobi planned for the afternoon, alleging a plot to attack his supporters. We will deny root of the taxes he thinks he can extort from us by force. At least six people were killed last Friday during protests called for by Odinga. President William Ruto was elected last year on a platform of helping Kenya's working poor. But his critics say the tax increases he signed last month will make life harder for Kenyans who are already struggling to afford basic goods like maize flour. They include a doubling of the fuel tax and a levy to fund affordable housing. The government says they're needed to deal with debt and pay for job creation initiatives. Thank <laughs> you.